Hello, Barry. It is Heather Hansen with Community Chat and RateDeal.ca. And I am here with Lisa Curran, and she's with Edward Jones, and just wanting to get some information as to what's happening right now with her business and why she would like to help you with your investments. Hey, Lisa, how are you? I'm good, Heather. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for showing up on a rainy day. No problem. I know it's awful out there. That's all right, because we're nice and cozy inside, and it's a perfect opportunity to just for people to get to know you here in Barrie. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. So, Lisa, most people know when you say that you're with Edward Jones that it's about investments and um, you know different parts of uh, maybe getting involved in in funds and such. But what exactly is it that you do for people? Okay, so at Edward Jones, what we do is we take a holistic approach. So we look at the whole you, the big picture. So you're going to sit down with us. We have a set plan that we go through. We set up a roadmap for you. So you can get from point A to point B, whether that's a short-term goal, long-term goal, whether it's your retirement you're saving for or preparing for retirement. We're going to look at the big picture. We're going to make sure that everything is in place. And it's a living roadmap or plan. Okay, so it's going to change every time something with you changes. So maybe it's you buy a house or you have a new baby or maybe your husband has retired or your wife. We're going to review the plan at least once, if not two, three times a year, and we're going to keep updating it. So really what we do that maybe is a little bit different than some of the companies is we look at you, not so much just your investments. Oh, that's really cool. So that gives people a really personalized a way of investing and making sure that their money is working for them at the time in their lives. That's right. And, and it's important that you're looking at it that way. You're not just taking your money and, you know, putting it away and then walking away because life changes. Well, that's awesome. Uh, that's probably something that most people wouldn't know to take a look at because, uh, you know, for for most people, they just hand their money over uh, and and put money away every month and think, okay, well, I've just got to save for the future. But then life happens, and sometimes you need that savings, or maybe you need to take another look at how you're creating those savings. So these are the types of things that you do for people on a regular basis. That's right, because you're right. Life does happen, and you know the road is bumpy sometimes. And you want to make sure that money that you put away is invested properly. So you do have enough at the end. So that can take a look at things like, uh, you know, maybe if they're not needing money sooner than later, that you're going to make suggestions as to things like maybe a tax free savings account instead of a deep dive mutual fund that is going to cost them money or different varieties of things. So what are some of those varieties that you would look at for uh, different types, like, you know, short term compared to long term? Just give us a little idea of, of the types of things that you would look at. Okay, well, we're a full service brokerage firm. So we all, we do mutual funds, but we also do stocks and bonds. So first we would look at the amount we have and where it should be. We wanna make sure it's well diversified first and foremost, so that if one of the sectors drops, you're still good. Uh, we would look at, you know, say you did, like you said, say you had to withdraw your money early. Well, where are you gonna withdraw it from, right? You don't want to go straight to that RSP and be taxed. We want to make sure that you have an emergency fund available. You know, whether that's probably, you know, a TFSA or even if it's just your savings account, a little bit tucked away there. Uh, we want to make sure you're protected insurance wise. You know, not overprotected, but make sure you have some type of insurance there. So again, you're covered if something happens. Awesome. And you know, this is the type of thing that a lot of people don't know or understand that investing and making sure that your future is safe can also be your current future, right? Your your tomorrow future, not just your retirement future. And, and by you having the opportunity to be so diversified and look at the whole picture, the big picture, not just 
Oh, are you ready to retire? You know, at 55, 60 or whatever it may be nowadays, 70, 80. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. with my help, it won't be 80. Right. And that's it, right? Because a lot of people don't know to look at the big picture and the tomorrows, not just the future. Uh, you know, near future is just as demanding. And uh, by having somebody like yourself to be able to look at that whole picture, it will, can give people confidence. I think that's sort of where I'm trying to go here is to give the people the confidence that they can work with you on a regular basis through their life stages rather than just stop and drop is is what we used to call it when I was in the industry. It was stop and drop. It was somebody would just stop, give you some money or set up a payment plan. And then you just sit there rolling it into whatever you needed to do. And, and you're showing people this is completely different. It's a, a way to have a relationship and work with you. You say it better than I do, Heather. That's excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it is. It's, it's a personal relationship. You know, I'm not going to be that person that you said that you stop and drop and then you're gone. You know, I am going to be calling you. Uh, I hope the person shares with me their ups and their downs, you know, uh, RESP for the little one, let's get them started if that's a choice, you know. Um, I have a daughter that is uh, special needs, so I mean, to me, RDSPs are important, you know, pension funds, things like that, trust funds, all of that. So we do a whole lot more, you know, estate planning, things like that. People don't always think of what happens later you know you might own that cottage let's let's look at that let's see what happens if you want to pass that on so we're actually yeah it's, it's a whole package awesome and that's you know i think really why i wanted to summarize because i want to make sure that we really get the point across that when someone is working with you or they would like to speak with you to see if you're the right fit to work with that you're not going to just offer a one stop one stop um, program. It's going to be a one-stop shop because you have your licenses and so many things. So what, what are all of your licenses that you can do to help people? Well, I am, I'm what they call IROC license and I have my insurance license. So with my IROC license, that allows me to trade in stocks and bonds and futures options, things like that, you know, and then of course we can do GICs and mutual funds. So I, I do a whole range of different ones you know I'm it's a little I don't know what the word would be for it but it's it's a full package again you know I don't want to keep repeating myself but it, it's definitely a full package you're diversified <laughs> just like your abilities <laughs> just like my investments that's right <laughs> so but again though, you know like you did say it's a fit so not everybody is a fit you know I I might not be a fit for you or, you know, you might not be the right fit for me. So that's what our first appointment really details is, you know, are we a good fit? Are we going to enjoy working together? Because, again, it's a partnership. So that would be, you would be available to offer a free consultation. Definitely to anyone that would like to get in touch with Lisa. And we will, of course, have all of her stuff right here for, <laughs> to be able to get in touch with her and then set up a time and have a chat and see, you know, tell Lisa about what you're doing and, and what you're at, where you're at, what you're thinking about. And if there's the possibility that Lisa can help you, you can have that free consultation to find out exactly what she could do for you and and just on a note like lisa's easy to talk to so i think anybody that uh wants to follow up on the screen here with any of the contact information uh they can get in touch with me as well to be able to get in touch with you but lisa why did you choose this profession well well, to start with, I love numbers. <laughs> I love investments. I like numbers. I like the stock market. But really, the most important thing is I like to help people. So, you know, since I was young, that's what I did. I'm a helper. Uh, I love to see people succeed. So later in life, when I was looking for a new career, I moved over into investments. And I did my training and my licensing, like I said, 
And I thought, what a nice combination. I mean, I can help people, but I can help people in a way that's, that's solid, right? I mean, money isn't everything, but money at the same time is a worry for people. So if I can change that, if I can make it that somebody sits down with me and feels a oh, big sigh of relief, that they know that their money is going to last through retirement, then that's great. That's what I want to do. If I can help the young guy that's saving for his house, um, awesome. You know, there's nothing like that, that joy when a person, you know, reaches their goals. And so, yeah, it was just a great fit for me. I love people. I love talking to people. And it just kind of came around and I took up the offer. That's awesome. And, and so what are the, the things that maybe somebody wouldn't know that you can do for them? You can do the stocks, you can do the life insurance, you can do the uh, investment portion. Uh, but is there anything that you think that maybe somebody who doesn't know anything about uh, how an, somebody in your position, there's a lot of people out there who don't really understand your job. And so is there something that you can share that would be, I know you have to watch with your compliance, but is there anything that you could share with me that uh, maybe somebody that has never had a personal service like this before that, that you can, you know, sort of let them understand what you can do? Okay. So trying to think of how to, how to put it. Well, let's say, let's take you, yes. Heather. Let's pretend you have never been to an investment person. Right. You've been to the bank, you know, you contribute $25 a week, and that's it. So if I was to walk through what I would do with you as a, a person coming in for the first time, first I would explain to you what I do. We would be very, very thorough. There would be no surprises. There's no surprises with costs or anything like that. I would sit down with you. We would go over maybe a budget. We would see where you're spending your money. Uh, some people don't want that. They don't need that, and that's fine too. But we would look to see where you, your money is. What could you invest if you were a new investor? We would go through that. And then we would sit down together, if this is what you chose, and we would pick out the investments. And we would pick the ones that would work for you. Because, like I said, everybody's an individual. So what works for me might not work for you. We're going to see where your risk is, you know. Are you that risky guy that throws caution to the wind? Or are you the secure person that likes that GIC? If you're risky, I'm going to make sure you really are risky. Because, again, people don't always understand. I'm going to explain to you the difference between, say, fixed income and equity. If you don't understand that, we're going to walk through everything we do step by step. So, and then again, we would sit down, I would take all the information I have, and I would set up a plan for you. Then you're going to come back, and I'm going to show you the plan, and if it's something you like, and I feel we're a good fit, and you feel we're a good fit, then we're going to work together. And working together means that we're going to look at how we want to do it. Traditional, I help, I choose, you choose, we do it together. We have guided ones where if you're that type that wants to take your money, and just leave it. We can do that. Um, so it, it's lots of options. And we go with all the costs. All the costs, bit by bit, no matter what. There's no hidden surprises. Right, right. That's awesome. Um, just... <sighs> I want to make sure that you have like that everyone has all of the information that they could possibly gather. That's why I'm, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. It's not that we can't come back and do this again in a few weeks and, and make sure, you know, it, by your responses from people, if you get some questions and such, we can absolutely take a look at that. Um, but what are your goals over the next year? So my goals over the next year, would be want to reach as many people as I can to make sure they're doing okay during this time of COVID. Uh, COVID has really messed things up. It's really hit people hard. Uh, there's people financially, you know, um, with work, jobs are being closed. 
you know, walking away with a pension, what do I do with it? What's the proper thing to do? There's people who nobody has called them and said, you know, do you have a recovery plan in place? Uh, so really my goal is to reach as many people as I can, not necessarily, you know, I'm saying for business, but even just to make sure that people understand where they're at. That, that would be one goal. My other goal would be to get my office doors open a little more. Uh, so we are allowed people in, uh, not at the moment, you know, we, but when it's not a complete lockdown, we are allowed people in with masks because we are essential service. But I'd like my doors to be opened again in my office. So, you know, we can have that morning cup of coffee, you know, our clients walk in and just to say hi sometimes, you know, you can sit and chat and have a cup of coffee or whatever. Um, I miss that. So that would probably be one of my bigger goals was just get the doors open again, you know. Right, and have that relationship right in your office. But in the meantime, they have full access to you on all the social media and through every other portal that we have out there. And we will, again, make sure that that is uh, very relevant here uh, so that people can get in touch with you. Uh, is there anything that we've missed that we need to make sure that people know? Uh, I don't think so, other than the fact that, you know, we're, we're a holistic company. You know, we're looking at the whole, and that's really what I want people to know. It, it's a relationship that we're building. Right. It's not, you know, like you said, I love that uh, drop and, stop and drop. Yeah. I love that analogy. We're not that. You know, that's not who we are. It's not who I am. Uh, it's relationship building also. Awesome. Well, Lisa, I really appreciate and uh, for you and I, all the tries that we've had to make this work between us. And uh, it's it's because it's a solid relationship that we're able to work through all the fine tuning to be able to be uh, get this to everyone so that people know what it is that you have available, who you are, they can get to know you. So thanks so much for joining me on Community Chat, Lisa. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of this. You're, you're working hard to get the, the word out about everybody in the community. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, Barry, for today and Community Chat, this is Lisa Curran, and she's with Edward Jones just over on Huronia Road. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in person with a coffee, Lisa. Definitely drop in anytime. Perfect. Thanks, Heather. I appreciate it. And signing off to Barry's community chat. We'll talk soon.